Hello there. It is 1235 here on News 6 Plus. Welcome to Take 6, where we dive deeper into the stories and investigations that our team works on here at WKMG News 6. And normally, Julie is right here saying hello, but today... I'm your host, Bridget Ellison, and I'll be talking to Julie about some special story that you are working on, Julie. Good afternoon. Kids Global. That is a nonprofit based right here in Central Florida. And you may recognize the name Sharon Hagel. She and her husband Mark rode aboard a Blue Origin rocket back in 2022. They went into space. And now she has a nonprofit that she started in 2015 with the mission that space is for everyone. And since 2015, she has spoken to 790 thousand school kids around the world talking to them about careers in STEM and we're looking at a little video right now showing the Hagels on the day of that flight in West Texas that they went on back in 2022. Now she has a contest and this is really great so if you have a kid between the ages of 8 and 12 who likes space and maybe who likes journalism this is a great contest for you. They are launching the Space Kids Global press corps. So you have between now and June 14th to go to the Space Kids Global website and you can enter your kid in this contest. The first phase of it is a lottery and then from that lottery on June 14th they draw 24 semifinalists. Those semifinalists then create a minute-long video explaining why they want to be part of this press corps and when the eight finalists who are chosen, they will get to go to a launch. They will get to go to Blue Origin headquarters out at Kennedy Space Center, and they will get to act as reporters and cover this launch. They'll be interviewing engineers. They'll be interviewing designers. They'll get to interview astronauts and then report back to their local communities on what they learn. So this is such a cool opportunity, Bridget. We're always talking about we need more journalists joining us. Mm -hmm. So this is a perfect opportunity for some more space reporters Mm -hmm. to join James and Eric out there at the Cape. It's so true. And when we look at all of the great work the Hagels are doing through philanthropy, yes. they're really pouring into the next generation. Yeah. And she said that this is her passion. And she said in a, a quote that you'll see in the story today, she was like, you know how it is. Some days you're just like, oh, you don't want to get out of bed. But she says when she walks into school and she's in her space suit, the space suit she's wearing that actually did go to space, that the kids light up. And she said also that journey to space, she said it was a really spiritual journey. She said, you look Mm -hmm. back on earth and you realize how fragile our planet is. And she said that she just could not experience that and not just make it her mission to make earth a better place for everyone. And so they're so passionate about it. They're so excited about it. And this is going to be a great opportunity. And she also mentioned that the students who win, the kids who become part of the press corps, that they will get some training from some real reporters. So I was like, hey, I I would be happy to help with that. I bet some of my colleagues would as well. So we may get to help train our, our next generation coming up here, Bridget. And so this story runs this evening starting yes. at 530. So we'll get to mm-hmm. see more detail about everything then and then and also share it online too yes and you'll also get to see sharon has a little dog named saba and he so he wears his blue origin space suit for us as well so you know anytime i go somewhere where there's a dog that we can meet or put in the story and so that was mm-hmm. that was extra thrilling as well but what a cool opportunity i can't imagine i know you and i've talked about we were both interested in journalism right. very young can you imagine eight or ten years old getting the opportunity to go report on a launch all expenses paid to brevard county to get to cover this and just you know the opportunities and the experience it really is the experience of a lifetime and that just puts them that much more ahead in setting those goals and realizing that they are attainable because it does seem like such a, a hard to reach goal sometimes when you're still a student Yeah. And Sharon was talking about when she was, she grew up in West Virginia. She grew up in Charleston, West Virginia. And she said in 1961, she was listening to a launch on the PA system of her school. And she wishes she could tell that little girl sitting Mm. in that classroom in West Virginia where she would end up. And that's what she wants these students to know, that they can do Mm. anything, that space is for everyone and these opportunities are for all of us. 
And that's that's what they're committed to as well as sort of promoting more opportunities for everyday people to be able to yes. experience space, learn more about space and really normalizing it for those here <laughs> on Earth. Yeah. Yeah, and she did tell us, you know, they have another trip planned to space. So when she couldn't say a lot about it, but the students will go report on that next trip to space when they mm. go. I was like, when are you going? And she was like, <laughs> nice try. I can't tell you, but they are going back to space, which, you know, I'm like, imagine saying that you're going back to space. And most right. of us will never go to space in the first place. But they're oh. like, oh, yeah, we're going back to space. Yes, and I was I was looking in the news, and they were recently in in some of the business news journals about yeah. selling their Winter Park home for twelve million dollars. So that's that's how they pay for all these things that they're doing, great things they're doing in the community as well. Yes, yes, they are such an asset to the community, and it's always so nice to catch up with them. So that story mm -hmm. airs tonight in our Getting Results in Our Schools segment at five thirty, and then in the web story, I will have a link to how you can enter the contest and more details about that. But you have time. You have until June 14th to enter your student 8 to 12 years old anywhere and in the U.S. We know there are plenty of them out there interested in those topics. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we're really heating up out there, Julie. Oh, my goodness. We just mm. wrapped up the noon show. And so Candace was doing the weather for us and explaining to mm. us that the heat is just getting started. Here's a look at that seven-day forecast already right now. Some spots along the coast in the mid to upper 90s. We are on our way to a high today of 92 degrees. Notice that rain chance only 20%. We have a lot of dry air in place, a lot of subsiding air. So we may squeeze out a few isolated showers with sea breeze, but that's about it. But I want you to look at Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We will be near record territory, 98 degrees on Thursday. When you factor in that relative humidity, it could feel like the triple digits in some spots. So it really is a time. I know, Br uh, Bridget, you're going to be talking on Breakfast with Bridget tomorrow about heat precautions and, yes. you know, how to make sure you stay safe. That will be something we all need to pay attention to. And then a weak front comes through, cooling us down a little bit for Mother's Day. Well, looking forward to that. And like you said, there's, there's just so much that happens in terms of how the weather impacts our bodies and our health. And yes. so it is important. And it's also hurricane preparedness week as well. So we've been talking about that. Yes, yes. Hurricane season is coming up on us quickly. We've been all working on our hurricane special, which will air June 3rd. The hurricane season starts June 1st. So now is the time to get prepared. All righty. Well, that will do it for us this afternoon here on Take 6. And we hope that you'll join us on WKMG News at 4. And We'll see you tomorrow for breakfast with Bridget at 7.30 a.m. Hope you'll join us there as well, as well as the morning news from 5 to 7. Take care.